Hello there and welcome back to our video series on wire EDMs. If you haven't checked our first part where we covered some basics about wire EDMs, please go and do that. In today's episode, we'll be going a little deeper into various types of EDM wires and how to choose which one is right for you. So if you want to learn something about that, get ready. Hi, my name is Ajinkya Kekar and my company Innovation Filter Systems started by making filtration systems for wire EDMs in 1999. So this video is not about making a sales pitch for EDM wires because we don't make those. We are associated with this industry since our birth and hence we thought of sharing the knowledge that we have. So sit back, relax and let's discuss about wires. EDM wires come in a wide range of diameters. Using a thin EDM wire, we can make a 0 0.0004 inch corner radius, a feature which is almost impossible to make with any other manufacturing process. Very often, such features are needed to make electrical components or very intricate details in die making. However, using thin wires comes with its own unusual challenges. Typically, thin wires require lower power settings and hence they take a longer time to cut. That is the reason why manufacturers do not prefer using such thin wires because of the lengthy machining times unless the application absolutely demands it. Now let's talk about various types of EDM wires. The most commonly used wire in EDM work is a 0.01 inch diameter brass wire. Now these brass wires come in three types. They are hard, half hard and soft brass. A soft brass wire is used for cutting tapers because it has a low tensile strength and it can bend while cutting angles without breaking. Hard brass wires hold up well against aggressive flushing, which means you can apply a higher voltage to the wire without breaking it. That also means a faster cutting rate, which means more cutting and hence more profits. Believe it or not, but zinc coated brass wires is a real thing and they are pretty great actually. The zinc coating acts as a shield against heat. So if you are working with brass wires and are worried about heat damaging them, then zinc coated brass wires is a real solution for you. Zinc melts at a lower temperature than brass. So the zinc absorbs the heat and boils away, which prevents the brass wire from overheating. With zinc coated wire, less heat enters the wire, which means it protects the workpiece. You will often hear machinists talk about high speed wires or stratified wires. These are nothing but wires with a copper core inside it with a zinc outside layer. It provides the electrical conductivity of copper, which means you can cut with twice the speeds. However, they are also twice as expensive compared to other wires. Machinists prefer to use such kind of wires mainly for rough cut. Using only or plain copper wires is pretty rare, no matter which kind of wire you use. Please note, that the wire can be used only once. This is because wire gets consumed during the wire cutting process and hence it, it gets degraded. However, you can sell the used wire as scrap afterwards. Let's talk about tensile strength of the wire. Remember the concept of Young's modulus we learned in engineering? Well, this is the perfect application for that. One of the most important things to consider in EDM wire is just how strong it is. Now, it may not come in contact with the workpiece but it is definitely stretched inside the machine's wire drive feed mechanism, which consists of wire tensioners, roller guides, etc. The tension is preloaded into the wire in the machine, which can either be increased or decreased depending on the cut that you want. The tensile strength determines the tension at which the wire will break. The material or the wire with lower tensile strength will break easily. Now let's talk about the relationship between surface finish and the wire tension. When it comes to surface finish, we have two types of cutting, rough cutting and skim cutting. Rough cutting requires lower wire tension. That way the machine can cut faster without breaking the wire. If you're going for a skim cut, you need to increase the wire tension, which means slower speeds and lower voltage in the machine to achieve maximum surface finish and precision. With increasing cost pressures, machinists need to find innovative ways to increase their profits 
by using or increasing their machine productivity and usage. One of these ways is uh, lights out machining concept in which the machine can run unattended or without an operator especially during the nights. Now when you buy EDM wire it is in the form of spools. The standard spools that we get in the market you can achieve about 8 to 10 hours of un uninterrupted cutting. However, we also get larger spools these days with using which you can cut close to 40 hours with uninterrupted cutting. I read online a perfect example for lights out machining and how it improved the profits for a wire cut machinist. Now this person invested in a very high end machine right at the go along with uh, fancy accessories that come with it like uh, auto rethreading systems, mineral bed filter system for uh, cleaning the dielectric as well as robots to load and unload workpieces in, in the machine. Now because of this sophisticated setup what he could achieve was that although his initial investment was high he could work on the business during the day that is answering calls or attending sales meetings or visiting customers etc. But he could run the machine unattended during the night for an extra 6 to 8 hours. Because of this sophisticated setup he could achieve higher return on investment just by using the machine for a longer time than his competition. You know what's great about auto rethreading system? Well it practically takes care of itself and that's why almost all new CNC wire cut machines come equipped with auto rethreading systems. So you can focus on what's important to you and leave the wire threading job to the machine. Automatic threading enhances the machine's capability of uh, unattended operation or lights out machining by making it possible to have multiple openings or features within a single part in a single setup. Cutting and rethreading of the wire is controlled by the CNC program. The, and if the wire accidentally breaks, the machine senses the break, rethreads the wire and resumes the cutting from where the wire broke. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the wires used in EDM wire cut machines. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. And if you haven't seen part one of this video series where we discuss about the basics of wire EDMs, please check it out here. In the next or the part three of this video series, we will discuss about speed, accuracy and surface finish that we can achieve using a wire cut machine. So stay tuned. Thank you.